Hi guys, this is a quick video for second time today, actually. So, see this controller? This is I this game I was talking about in, in another video. It goes down there, around there. So, as you can see, it's plugged in. Okay, so I wiggle, I press A. So let me press A for mouse click. There you go, mouse click. As you can see, you can see my mouse move right there. Okay, so. So I actually have a, um, so I used a, um, whatchamacallit, um, um, key because I press the Xbox button. This is what happens. Launch a Steam Big Picture Mode. So this is where I can play games at and stuff. And if you look over here, there's a web browser, okay? This web browser sucks. It doesn't let you log into YouTube or anything. Or That's what mainly I use the browser for if I'm on my, my computer and I don't like turning on my Roku or looking at the Roku for specific things. And if I'm in, in the middle, the middle of the game, if I finish a game and don't want to switch to Roku, I can just basically, I usually would basically um, use my computer for actually that if I don't want to just get on Roku, but since that, doesn't really matter right right now. I would just use the Roku if I had the projector on, but I just I don't want to switch inputs. Okay, so I have if you go to the library, this is where all my games are at. Um, so as you can see, all the games. So this is just some of the games. Um, so so basically, as you can see, Firefox is right there. Oops. So as you can see, Firefox, I just opened it up because I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let's see. Controller. I have controller companion installed. So there's this. So I press A button to start that. It will launch Firefox. And this will launch my web browser, which will launch my home page, which is where I have this. And since controller companion is right here. I can basically control this. So I just, this allows me to scroll up and down. Allows me to basically select stuff. And since it looks like this, this is how it looks on mobile. And it allows me to basically search YouTube or pretty much any web browser. As long as I basically click here and then open up this application right here, which is a on-screen keyboard. Which I won't really do because the main reason I use a computer on uh, most of the times when I'm not editing is basically YouTube. And also, I'm going to have a remote desktop protocol on here that I can just basically, because I still have my editing software on here and my VMs. I can run VMs from, from a remote desktop protocol and connect to them on here. So install a Windows VM and then set a remote desktop protocol and I can remote desktop protocol from a remote desktop protocol. So, or I can just turn on remote desktop protocol and then I can use the other computer and remote desktop protocol into that. So, or RDP. And so if I'm say I'm done with this. As you can see, I, I press that. Uh, as you can see, the X, the X button over there. I press A button. It will exit out of there and take me back to Steam Big Ashy Picture Mode. And then I can press the back button. The the back button. The back button. It takes me back to here. And then I can go over to the Steam Big Picture. Actually, Steam Big Picture Mode. And from here. If I need to restart the computer, I can basically restart from here, suspend the system, etc. I'm just about to see if this way actually works because I actually haven't tried this yet. So, so it says suspend system, confirm, and it suspends the system. And as you can see, the controller went off, the fans went off, but you might not be able to hear it over 
the projector fan. But that's off. So I'm about to press it again. And see what happens. If it turns back on, then it turns back on from that state. And it goes back in the same way picture mode. I can sleep it there. Or I can I can sleep it there, or I can go here, exit Steam Big Picture mode, and it allows me to exit back to desktop. And as you can see, I'm still using my controller. And if I basically press the X button and in, in, in control with control commanding on, it goes like this. Okay, so. That's the quick video I wanted to, to make. It works, and I've used, and I have this set up, so if I ever decide to basically just, if this projector were to stop working, I can basically, but it only has like 125 hours on there, which is not that bad. And so all I have to do is basically, if the projector were to ever stop working, I can just unplug it from actually there and update it with like a new pr projector. Even though this projector can do 4K, I can basically update it to an 8K pr pr projector if I so, so decided to. And since since the top of the projector where we're set is basically almost the same as like tight, I just have to put a couple books there and then I can basically extend the projector if it's longer. Yeah. And then just have a, a 4K projector right there. You know, this isn't a 4 or 4K screen. A 4K screen is has better grains. I basically could upgrade the projector screen, but for now, this projector screen is fine. I might have, I might upgrade to a gray gray one if I get a new new one and mount it properly. Because this one I paid 22 bucks for, not that bad, but not good because they have better quality ones. Because this image could be actually better quality if I had a better quality projector screen and in the in the, in the, in the frameless one and I calibrated it properly which I did somewhat but yeah thanks for watching bye